Hey, good morning, friends. My name is Mr. Jim, and I work at the Fayetteville Public Library, and thank you very much for watching this video. This is Toddler Story Time. While we're still not having story times in the library, we're filming story times for you to watch at home or at school. You can see the full schedule of our story times on our web calendar at faylib.org slash calendar. Hey parents, a quick reminder that while our building is closed, you can still request materials through our curbside pickup service. All you have to do is put your items on hold, give the circulation desk a call, and a member of staff would be happy to schedule that for you. I'm really glad you joined me this morning. Can you guess what we're going to talk about in story time today? What's behind me? It's a tree. What do you see on the tree? Yeah, there's lots of colorful leaves. What color of leaves do you see on the tree? I see red, an orange, yellow, brown, and there's still some green leaves on there. It's getting cooler outside. The leaves are changing colors. Some people are getting ready for different holidays, and maybe you're wearing different clothes than you were during the summer or the spring. Today, we're going to talk about all the different changes that we see during the fall or autumn time. I'm really excited to have story time with you today. Before we read our stories, why don't we sing another good morning song? We're going to sing one of my favorites. It's called Open Shut Them. And for this song, we put our hands up like this. Can you put your hands up like I am? Great. Here comes the song. Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open shut them, open shut them them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Oh, good job. That's really silly. We didn't put our hands in our mouths, did we? Good. No, we don't do that. Let's sing it one more time. Put your hands up with me one more time. Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. <gasps> but do not let them in. Oh, that was really silly. Give yourself a round of applause, friends. Thanks for being silly with me first thing today. I think we're just about ready for our first story. We talked about this tree and how the leaves are changing colors. We don't usually see the leaves change colors until the fall time, but the trees do lots of different things throughout the seasons. Fall is one of four different seasons that we can see during a whole year. Do you know what the four different seasons are? There's fall when the leaves start to change and it starts to cool off a bit. There's winter, when it gets really cold and sometimes we see snow. There's spring, when the plants grow back and it's really green and sometimes it's really rainy. And there's summer, when it's really, really hot outside. We're gonna read this book, Tap the Magic Tree, and see what happens to the trees during all four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Before we read this book, there are three things that I like to do to start a story time. The first thing we do is we make sure we're sitting down on our bottoms so that we can see the story with our eyes. Are you sitting down with me this morning? Great, thank you very much. The second thing we do is that we put our listening ears on. My listening ears are on. Where are your ears? Oh, there they are. Are they listening? Very good, thank you. And the third thing we do is we catch a bubble in our mouths. Oh! and blow it out slow. Catch another bubble. Very good. That helps us turn our voices off. Our ears are on and listening and we're sitting down to see the first story, Tap the Magic Tree. I'm gonna need your help doing different things with the magic tree in this book. Do you think you can help me with that? You can? Awesome, I knew you could do it. For this book, I need your help. Can you hold up one finger and pretend that it's a tree? In this book, we're gonna tap the tree, tap. We might shake the tree, shake. We're gonna do different things to the tree. So when I do it on the book, you do it with your finger. Can you do that with me? Awesome. This book is by Christy Matheson. She wrote the words, Andrew, the pictures. What do you see on the front of this book? 
I see big green letters that say the name of the book, Tap the Magic Tree. And around the edges, I see different kinds of leaves and branches. I see some green leaves with flowers. I see some dark green leaves with fruit. Some orange, red, and yellow leaves like in the fall. I see some snowflakes too. There's no leaves on this branch and a nice blue bird. Let's find out what happens in this book, Tap the Magic Tree by Christy Matheson. Here comes the story. There's magic in this bare brown tree. Tap it once, turn the page to see. Okay, we're gonna tap the tree. Are you ready? Just one time. Tap, let's see what happens. What happened? There's a leaf on our tree. It says to tap again. One, two, three, four. Can you tap your trees four times? I wonder what will happen next. There's more leaves on our tree. How many leaves do you see on the tree now? One, two, three, four, five. Five leaves. We tapped the tree five times and now there's five leaves on the tree. Now it says to tap it again even more. Are you ready? Get ready to tap the tree. Tap, 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 tap. I tapped it a lot. And now there's lots of leaves. So many leaves because we tapped our tree all that time. This tree is very magical. Rub the tree to make it warm. Can you rub your trees? Rub, 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 rub. Nice and warm tree. Ooh, our tree got nice and warm and now it has flowers in it. Do you see the nice pink flowers in the tree? This must be the springtime. In the springtime, all the leaves grow on the tree and sometimes trees have flowers or fruit in them. It's nice and warm, so the spring tree grows. It says to touch each bud, the flower buds. Can you touch each bud with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and see what forms. Let's see what happens when we touch those buds. Ooh, the flowers blossomed, and there's some bees flying around the tree in the flowers. What sound did the bees make? Do you see those little bees? Bzzz. The bees say bzz, bzz, bzz. Now it says to give the tree a little jiggle. Can we jiggle the tree? <gasps> jiggle, jiggle. Just a little one. Jiggle, jiggle. Now the pink flowers are falling off the tree. We jiggled the tree and all the pink flowers fell off. That's it. Now make your fingers wiggle. Can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle, 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 wiggle your fingers. We wiggled our fingers and some green apples grew in the tree. This must be the summertime. In the summertime, all the flowers fall away, but we still have green leaves on the trees. And sometimes we get fruit in the trees in the summertime. It says to brush away the petals and blow the tree a tiny kiss. First, we're going to brush away the petals. Can you brush the petals away with me? Brush, brush, brush. And now we have to give the tree a tiny little kiss. Can we blow a kiss to the tree? Mwah. Mwah. Good job. Our green apples turned into... What color are these apples? Red apples! All those juicy red apples in the tree. This is an apple tree. It says to shake the tree. Shake, 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 shake. I hope we didn't shake it too hard. <gasps> plop, 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 plop. Curr, plop. What happened? All the red apples fell out of the tree. We shook the apples out of the tree. Next, it says to knock on the trunk. Can you knock with your wrist? Knock, 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 then stop. Knock, then stop. All of our green leaves turned. What color did the leaves change to? They changed to yellow, and I see some orange leaves in there too. What animal is that underneath the tree? It's a squirrel, and it's holding an apple core. It says to pat the leaves. Be gentle, please. Can you gently pat the leaves? Gently pat, 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 pat. Aha! 
The leaves change colors again. What colors in the leaves do you see? Red and yellow and orange, just like the leaves on the tree behind me. I wonder what season this is. First there was spring, then there was summer. This must be fall or autumn when the leaves change colors. Now blow a whooshing breeze. Can you blow a breeze with your mouth? Blow on the leaves. Whoosh. The leaves fell off the tree. Look, there they go flying in all directions. Clap your hands to bring. Can you clap your hands with me? Clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands to bring the snow. Now it's snowing on the tree. Do you see any leaves on the tree? No, there's no leaves anymore. All of our colorful leaves went away. They fell off the tree and it's snowing. All these colorful snowflakes. It must not be fall anymore. Now it must be winter. Spring, summer, fall, winter. In the winter, sometimes we see snow and icicles and bare brown trees. Okay, be patient. Do you know what it means to be patient? Patient means we have to wait. It's hard to wait sometimes. It's hard to be patient sometimes. But when we're patient and wait, 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 bird, don't go. Look, the snow melted away. Close your eyes and count to 10. Can you close your eyes with me? Now we have to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we waited for 10 seconds. What's in the tree now? There's a bird nest with a blue egg. Magic! We were patient and now there's magic. It begins again. What do you see in the tree again? There's green leaves in the trees again. And now there's birds and a baby bird. It must be getting ready for springtime again. Those trees go around and around in a cycle, like a circle. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Then it does it all again. Spring, summer, fall, winter. That's a cool pattern, isn't it? Guess what, my friends? We made it to the end of this story. Tap the magic tree. You help the tree grow leaves and lots of other things. Good job. Thanks for listening. Great job listening to that story about the trees and what they do during the fall and other seasons, friends. We're going to sing a song about the tree next. In that book, we learned that the leaves on the trees change colors in the fall. The wind starts to blow. And then the leaves fall off the trees. So we're going to sing a song about those three things. The leaves changing colors, the wind blowing, and the leaves falling off the trees. First, the leaves have to change colors. Can you help me figure out what color these leaves are? What color is this leaf? It's a red leaf. Good job. What about this leaf? This leaf is orange. This is an orange leaf. Do you know what color this leaf is? It's a yellow leaf. I like yellow. I really like yellow leaves too. There's one more. What color is this leaf? This leaf is brown. Brown like dirt. Good job, friends. Those are the four colors we're going to sing about. Here comes the song, friends. The leaves are changing colors. The leaves are changing colors. Red, yellow, orange, and brown. The leaves are changing colors. Good job. What happens after the leaves change? The wind starts to blow. Can you make the wind blow? The wind begins to blow. The wind begins to blow. Red, yellow, orange, and brown. The wind begins to blow. Good job. That's a really strong wind. So the leaves changed colors and then the wind blew. What happens to the leaves on the trees when the wind blows? They fall down. The leaves are falling down. Can you make your fingers like leaves falling down? Good job. The leaves are falling down. The leaves are falling down. 
Red, yellow, orange, and brown, the leaves are falling down. Good job, friends. Give yourself a round of applause. That's what happens to the leaves when the wind blows and they change colors. So there's leaves on my tree. I wonder if there's anything else growing in the tree. Do you see anything else in my tree? You do? Let's look at the other side of the tree. Oh my goodness, friends. What's growing in my tree? Is this an orange tree? Oh, no, those aren't oranges. Is this a banana tree? It's not? Oh, bananas aren't red. Hmm. Is this a potato tree? No, it's not a potato tree. What kind of tree is this? It's an apple tree. It's a big red apple tree. How many apples do you see? One, two, two red apples. Those are the biggest apples I've ever seen. I think those apples are bigger than my face. We're gonna do a finger story with the apples. Show me you're ready by wiggling your fingers. Good job. Let's tell this story together. Reach way up high. Those apples are way up high in the apple tree. Two red apples smiled down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down fell the apples and mm, they were good. Good job, friends. Let's tell that story one more time together. What do we do first? We reach way up high in the apple tree. Two red apples smiled down at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down fell the apples and mm, they were good. We ate those red apples. Not these apples, because those aren't real apples. Those wouldn't taste good. But it was so much fun telling that story with you. Good job, friends. Thanks for telling the story with me about the apple tree. Thanks for singing those songs with me, friends. I think we're ready for our next storybook. In this next book, we're going to go for a walk outside in the fall weather. What kinds of clothes might you need if you're going outside and it's kind of cold? Would you want to wear a jacket? Yeah, the jacket could keep you warm. Would you want to wear shorts or pants? You might be warmer if you wore pants. And what would you wear on top of your head? A hat. A hat would keep your ears nice and warm. So let's go for a walk with this book, Autumn Walk. I like this book because it's shaped like an orange leaf. And look at this friend on the front. They're wearing a sweater, a hat on their head, long pants, and some sturdy shoes. We're going to go for a walk in the leaves with Autumn Walk. Are you sitting down on your bottoms? Did you put your listening ears back on? Did you catch a bubble in your mouth? Oh! <gasps> Very good. We're ready for our next book, Autumn Walk by Anne Berg, illustrated by Kelly Asbury. Here comes the story. My sweater is buttoned, hat and boot laces tied. Look, our dog friend has a yellow sweater on, a yellow hat that mom is helping tie, and his tail is wagging. He must be happy. And look, he's tying his boots all by himself. Hurry! Before the sun goes down, let's take a walk outside. Do you see the sun setting in the background? It's going to be dark soon. And look, the wind is blowing and all the leaves are falling. It's a golden sky with orange trees. It looks really nice outside. Ooh. Can you sniff? I sniff a whiff of apples and cinnamon toast. Air that is corduroy cold. The street is ablaze in crimson and brown, and the sun shines pumpkin gold. Lots of colorful words on this page. I see the red apples, the golden sky, the orange trees. That would be really nice to walk around in. And it's nice and cold. Can you shiver like it's cold? Ooh. Whirling and twirling, the leaves are calling. Come play with us, come play. Laughing like clowns, spinning around, autumn is here. Let's play. Can you twirl your hands like there are leaves in the wind? Be the leaf, be the leaf. Fistfuls of red, armfuls of gold. Throw them up high and jump. Pretend like you've grabbed all the leaves and throw them up in the air. 
and then they fall back down. Look at this big pile of leaves. Have you ever raked up a pile of leaves and then jumped into it? It's nice and crunchy. Bunches of scrunches and crunches of color land in a crinkly lump. Our dog friend is buried in the pile of leaves. Look at that bird's nest. How many eggs do you see in the bird's nest? One, two, three, four, five. And what color are those eggs? They're kind of blue with black polka dots. Plump feathered birds search for scraps to pad their cozy nests. A fat bellied spider under the pine cuddles and curls to rest. Those creatures are all scurrying about. Speaking of scurrying, there goes squirrels. One squirrel, two squirrels. Bushy tailed squirrels scurry to find acorns and nuts to hide. The squirrels are going to bury their food so they have lots to eat when it's too cold outside. The chill in the air shivers my bones. Ooh, can you pretend to be cold? Ooh. It's time to march inside. March, 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 march. Crackle, rustle, crinkle, and crunch through the cozy, darkening day. There goes our friend with his hands in his pockets, taking the long path back home, and the sun is setting. Crackle, rustle, crinkle, and crunch. Autumn is here. Hooray! Can you say hooray for autumn? The dog friend found a big pumpkin and carved the word hooray into it and some eyes and a nose. It's like a jack-o'-lantern. Guess what, friends? That's the end of Autumn Walk. Thanks for going on a walk outside in the cold, crispy air with me. The end. In that storybook, our dog friend went for a walk outside in the cold autumn air. So we're going to sing a song about some more fall stuff. If we were going out for a walk right now, we'd probably want to put something on. What am I wearing? I'm putting on my coat. My coat is nice and warm, and if I went outside, it would keep me warm in the cold air. So we're going to sing a song together that asks a lot of questions. What should I do? Can you pretend to be the wind blowing again? <sighs> but we don't mind the wind because we're wearing our coats. Are you ready to sing the song with me? Here we go. Wind is blowing, what should I do? Wind is blowing, what should I do? Wind is blowing, what should I do? What should I do, my story time friends? What could we do if we're too cold outside, but we're wearing our coats? Hmm, zip my coat up, that's what I'll do. Zip my coat up, that's what I'll do. Zip my coat up, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, my story time friends. If we zip our coats up, then the wind can't get inside of them. That's a good way to stay warm. Good job. What else could happen in the fall? Ooh, do you remember what falls from the trees? The leaves. What could we do with leaves? Hmm, let's sing about it. Leaves are falling, what should I do? Leaves are falling, what should I do? Leaves are falling, what should I do? What should I do, my story time friends? This is the sign language word for friends. Hmm, what could I do with all these leaves that fell down? I know. Make a big pile and jump right in. Make a big pile and jump right in. Make a big pile and jump right in. That's what I'll do, my story time friends. Good job. We could make a big pile of all those colorful leaves and then jump in it. That would be a lot of fun. What else could happen in the fall? I know. Grandma's cooking, what should I do? Grandma's cooking, what should I do? Grandma's cooking, what should I do? What should I do, my story time friends? What if our grandparents or our parents were making lots of yummy food? Should we just let it sit there? No, it looks way too good not to eat it. Eat up all the yummy food. Eat up all the yummy food. Eat up all the yummy food. 
That's what I'll do, my story time friends. Good job, friends. We figured out what to do about all those different fall things. We zipped up our coats when it got too cold. We made big piles of leaves and jumped into it. And we ate up all the yummy food that our family made for us. Those are three great things you can do in the fall. Hey friends, I had so much fun having fall story time with you today. Don't forget parents that you can tune in for toddler story time every Thursday morning at 10 a.m. with me or Miss Sarah. Don't forget to wear your coats outside and before I leave this room, I'm gonna put my mask on before I go back into the library. That way it's over my nose and my mouth and I'm not spreading any germs. We're gonna sing one more song together. It's a goodbye song. We'll sing a goodbye song and then I'll see you next time for toddler story time. Are you ready to sing with me? Can you wave goodbye like this? Great. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing it one more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you next time for Toddler Story Time. Have a great day. Bye.